it's Moochie and welcome to my channel. For this video I'm going to show you how to make this adorable little pencil plushie and I'm just going to get right into the tutorial. To make your little pencil plushie the first thing you're going to have to do is cut out all of your pieces and the pieces you're going to need will include these four yellow pieces. So one, two, three, four and they're all the exact same shape and then these two antique white pieces, these two black pieces, these two pink pieces, and then lastly these two rectangular pieces, which these pieces are green, but on the plush right here I had used gray rectangle pieces. So, you know, you can use any colors you want. You can change the color of this little piece here. You can change the color of the eraser. You can change the color of the pencil. You can have fun with it and use any colors that you want. The template for this plushie is completely free and you can find it down below in the description box. So go print out the template and use it to cut out all these pieces right here. After you've cut out all of your pieces, the next thing you're gonna do is take two of those yellow pieces and you're just gonna place them on top of each other. like this and then you're going to use the back stitch and just sew all the way across here. To do the back stitch the first thing you're going to have to do is thread and knot your needle with some thread that will match the same color as the material. So since I'm using yellow material right here I threaded and knotted my needle with some yellow thread. So as you can see there is thread looped through the needle and then all the way at the ends there's a little knot right there. And if you don't know how to thread and knot your needle, no worries. I actually have a video on how to do this and I'll link it somewhere on the screen for you to go check out. So it's really difficult to see the back stitch with the yellow material and the yellow thread on the camera. So for teaching purposes, I am going to take these two little squares right here and then I threaded and knotted my needle with some green thread just to help show the stitches. So here's the needle and then the material. And the first thing you're going to do to do the back stitch is make a stitch just like this. Pull all the way. And then make a stitch over here like this. Like that. And then you're going to make a stitch back where you made that first stitch. Pull all the way. And then there you go. And then you're just going to keep doing that. So to show you that again, you'll make a stitch over here and then make a stitch backwards. And one more time, make a stitch right here and then make a stitch backwards, just like that. Once you sew those two pieces together, this is what it's going to look like. And basically this side that has this little piece like sticking out, do you see it kind of sticking out? This is going to be the inside of the plush. And then this side is going to be the outside of the plush. The next thing you're going to do is take one of those black pieces. So one of these pieces right here, and you're going to place it right up here. And again, you're going to use the back stitch. And you're just going to sew along here to attach this piece and this piece together. And then just to give a tip to you guys, when you're sewing this black piece on, make sure you sew it on so that the back part of it is the same as the back part down here. So by that, I mean, see how it's like bunched out up here? You want it to be bunched out up here too, so that on this side, 
it's not bunched out up here or down here. So then you can keep this as the outside of the plush and this as the inside of the plush. At this point, you're gonna take one of those pink pieces and you're going to place it right up here and you're gonna sew along here to attach the pink piece and the yellow piece together. And honestly, you could probably use any type of stitch you want. You will not see this stitch when the plush is complete. So if you wanna use the back stitch, you can use that. If you wanna use the running stitch, if you wanna use the bell stitch, if you wanna use um, any type of stitch you want. I think I'm gonna be using the whipping stitch. I think that's what it's called. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but the stitch I'm using, I believe is called the whipping stitch. <laughs> This is what the plush will look like at this point. And then next what you're going to do is take one of those rectangular pieces and you're just going to place it right there. And I'm placing it so that it's mainly on the pink piece and just on the yellow piece a little bit. So if you can see that. And once this is placed right here, you're going to thread and knot your needle with some thread that matches the same color as the material right here. And then you're going to use the fell stitch and just sew across here and then across here to attach the rectangle onto these two pieces. To do the fell stitch, you're going to take your sewing needle and make a stitch just like this and then pull all the way and then make a stitch through the pink piece right where it meets that green piece and then pull all the way and then there you go and you're just going to keep doing that all the way across here so i'll show you that one more time so make a stitch right here pull and then make a stitch right there and pull Just like that. Next, you're going to take one of those antique white pieces, which is this piece right here, and then you're going to place it onto the plush. And then you're going to use the fell stitch again and you're going to sew along here and then also along here to attach this piece onto the yellow piece and then also the black piece. After sewing all those pieces together, this is what it's going to look like. This is the back and then this is the front. And then what you're going to do is make another one of these the exact same way. So use the rest of the pieces you have and then make another one. So you will have two. And then you're going to take these two pieces and put them on top of each other like this. So one side will look like this and the other side will look like that. And then you're going to be sewing all the way around using the back stitch and you're going to have to keep changing the color thread you're using. So you'll want to use green thread here, yellow thread here, antique white thread here, black thread here, again antique white thread, yellow thread, green thread, and then lastly you'll use pink thread all the way around here. So basically you're going to be using thread that will match the same color as the material. So at this point, I've sewn all the way around up to this point. 
So I only have this pink part left to sew together. And when I sew the eraser part together, I'm actually going to add a little bit of ribbon on the top to make the plush into a keychain or to be able to hang it up or, you know, something like that. So what I'm talking about is this little ribbon up here on top. And to add that, I'm just going to take this ribbon and I'm going to cut a small piece. I just think this ribbon is so cute and matches the pink so well. Um, but you can use any type of color ribbon you want. It doesn't need to be pink. Any color you want is perfectly fine. I just am using this one. And then you're going to fold it in half so that it makes this little loop. And then I like to use tape to hold the ribbon in place. I just find it easier when sewing if the ribbon is held in place and it can't move around but you most certainly don't need to use tape if you don't want to. But anyways, I'm just gonna put a little bit of tape on the end of the ribbon. And then I'm gonna cut off that excess tape right here. Whoop, you can move this out of the way. And then you're gonna put this in between the plush with that loop down like this. And then you're just gonna center it and then you're going to use the back stitch and just sew all the way with the ribbon in between the plush. So basically I just sewed all the way around using the back stitch and each time a different colored thread was needed I would have to re-thread and knot my needle with that colored thread, sew the portion, and then knot it. So just to give a little example, I had to thread and knot my needle with some green thread, start sewing the back stitch up to this point, knot the thread, and then re-thread and knot my needle with some yellow thread start sewing all the way down to this point and then knot the thread. And then I re-threaded and knotted my needle with some antique white colored thread and then started sewing down here up to this point where I then knotted the thread. And then I think you get the point. So you just keep doing that all the way around. It is pretty time consuming, not gonna lie, but I think it's worth it because the plush is just really, really cute. And then also I know the plush looks really, really messy, but all of this shown here and then also over here is not going to be seen when the plush is complete because we're going to be turning this plush inside out. So all of this is actually the inside of the plush. To turn the plush inside out, you're going to take some scissors and you're going to cut a hole right along here through one of the pink pieces and one of the green pieces. So to do that, I'm going to be separating this because you don't want to cut anything on this side. You only want to be cutting on this side. So we're going to be separating it like that. And then you're going to take your scissors and then make a little cut like that. And then make it bigger by cutting along here. Do the same thing over here. And then you can see that I went through that pink piece and that green piece here, but I didn't cut anything on that other piece on the other side, which is this piece over here. And then you're just going to turn this inside out. Now that the plush is turned inside out, you're going to fill it up with some stuffing. And then you're going to sew this open and close. It doesn't matter how messy the stitches are, and it also doesn't matter what color thread you're using. And it's not going to matter because you're not going to see it when the plush is complete, and that's because it's going to be covered up with some ribbon that I used right here. The 
The last step to finishing your little pencil plushie is to take some ribbon, which I'm going to be taking this yellow ribbon right here. You most certainly don't need to use a yellow ribbon if you don't want. You can use any color. But anyways, I'm just going to be gluing this around like this. And then also just to let you guys know, I'm going to be using tacky glue, but you can use any kind of fabric glue that you would like. And then you're going to want to add a little bit of glue to the end of the ribbon just to prevent it from fraying. I like to use fabric glue that dries clear so you won't see all this white glue when it dries. And then once the glue dries, your plushie will be all done. As always, thank you so, so, so much for watching. You have no idea how much I appreciate you watching the video and showing your support. It means so much to me. If you have any future plushy, plushy, plushy suggestion ideas, oh my gosh, that's always such a tongue twister for me, plushy suggestion ideas, please leave them down in the comments. I love hearing from you. And that's really it for the video. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you all have a great rest of the day.